primos y primas, este video es para mi gente. Dear Dominicans, number one, ubícate, por favor. Most of you don't know that we are, yes indeed, have raíces de África. They came from West Africa and Congo, and the first Dominicans came in around 1502 from Spain. And then eight years later, boom, un montón. And guess what? That is a little bit of the history. And for some of you who do not know, we are a part of the island, which is what's called La Española. We share the island with the beautiful country called Haiti. And that's another story. I'm not even going to get to Dear Haitians. But back to us, Dear Dominicans. Yet, somehow, many of us believe that this border makes them, like, not black. And they believe that we are not black. And they believe that we got this beautiful melanin from just being in the sun, maybe? My whole point is that the first thing we need to do is go back to our history. The first thing we need to do is ubicate, to know that our raíces are from Africa. It doesn't matter if tú eres blanquita, if you're a little lighter, y tú tienes dique el pelo bueno. Which brings me to number two. Microaggressions is una mierda. So you see that madrina, that tía, that abuela, or people telling you that ese pajón está feo, o tú necesitas un alisado. This starts with us and educating people that the color of your skin and the way your hair and your curls are doesn't matter. Number three, citizenship in tu visa doesn't mean anything because ese, ese presidente y su crony te pueden sacar bien rápido. And let me just give you a little insight on how that happens because we come to this country for something that like our parents come here we want to make a better life and do things right and for our families but we don't realize this is not our country and we all have a tío a tía someone we know who is a doctor in república dominicana y llegan aquí y están limpiando el inodoro you know the truth it is so true we know those people and so that's just a prime example that this is not our country and we can't ally with people that can easily take us out as easy as that we came in here. So make sure that you are understanding that all of these repercussions of what's going on with Black Lives Matter, yeah, it can be you, it can be your tia. Number three, un momento por favor with self-reflection we need to like look at ourselves and the way that we're going to change this country the way that we're going to change the way other people are thinking and feeling in the history is to realize and say hey we are black and the black lives matter does i repeat does reflect us and be proud of that and this whole movement is about us as well even though we might not distinctly understand it get it or realize it number four Grab that cafecito y no vamos a hacer what's right. Yes, for all me gente in Washington Heights and Dykeman and Lowell and Loring and Lynn and Miami and Jersey y yo sé que hay Dominicano en Kentucky porque se meten a donde quiera. <laughs> um, we have to keep up the reality is that we do need to protest. We do need to spread the word. We do know that this could be us, and we are Afro-Latinos, and we do have African roots. And if somebody's telling you different, tell them to come on my page and let's have another little history check on where we're really from. I'm Afro-Latina. These identities are not mutually exclusive, and it's important for me, my daughter, other children, and next generations to embrace this duality. Because denying it, 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 denying it is bad, and denying it is, is this fundamental part that of myself or her life or all these people that means that black is bad and being black on some level is bad and it's not. So I urge you to stand for what's right and know that you are African descent. Y no importa, yo, yo sé los relajos que la gente tiene por ahí. Hasta Cardi B le gusta los relajos. Dominicans were known for that. But shout out to the people like Amara La Negra, Jamie Osorio, Julissa, Calderon for really going out there and being proud.